now let's get oligopoly done in the last session we've completed monopolistic competition before that we've done monopoly and initially we had done perfect competition so now we'll get oligopoly done in this section we are going to cover the characteristics of oligopoly types of oligopoly equilibrium under oligopoly and the kinked demand curve under oligopolistic competition now what do you think is oligopoly oligopoly comes from two greek words olig means few and poly means sellers so a market wherein there are few sellers becomes a oligopoly it's an oligopolistic market now few sellers if you want me to quantify it would be around 2 to 10 or 12 sellers in the market generally we should not be putting a number to it but just for our convenience sake we can say in that market there are 2 to 10 or 12 sellers if you want examples for this they are telecom service providers you can count them on hands on your fingers rather airtel vodafone idea docomo reliance there are only handful of them cold drink providers again five to six brands maybe seven tire manufacturers again five to six airplane manufacturers basically two or three in the world so there are not many sellers of airplanes or tires or not many service providers which provide telecom service not many aerated drink manufacturers so their markets become oligopolistic market markets wherein there are not many sellers look in perfect competition we said there are many sellers in monopolistic competition we said many sellers but in oligopolistic market there are only few sellers and finally in monopoly there's only one seller so in oligopolistic we say there are sellers between 2 and 10 in the words of professor stingler situation in which a firm bases its market's policy in part on the expected behavior of a few close rivals so oligopolistic competition is a situation of a market wherein a firm chooses its policies on the behavior of the rivals that is on the behavior of the competitors that means there is no hard and fast method there is no thumb rule that operates in the oligopolistic market you always have to be on your toes to change the policies of the firm if the competitor brings some change in his product you have to bring change in your products as well if the competitor reduces the price of the products again you will have to reduce the price of the product if the competitor gives some extra service after sale service or guarantee or warranty with his product you will have to do the same so you will have to be on your toes and keep adapting depending on the policies of the competitors or the rivals